Lesson 8.4c, Angle Pairs and Two-Step Equations. A two-step equation requires two steps to solve. Our goal is to isolate the variable to one side of the equation to determine its value. Sometimes, solving an equation is only the first step in using an angle relationship to solve a problem. Take a look at this diagram. We've got ADC going straight across here, and we've got a ray coming up here as the side of this angle and the side of this angle, and it's telling us to find the measure of angle BDC, BDC. We can see this is 60 degrees and this is 3x degrees. Wow, this is a straight line, and the measure of angle ADB plus the measure of angle BDC is equal to 180 degrees. They form a straight angle. These angles are supplementary angles. So our equation to find the measure of angle BDC would be this 60 degrees plus the 3x is equal to 180 degrees. We use inverse operations. We have a positive 60 degrees here, so we're going to subtract 60 from each side of the equation. We're going to eliminate the 60 degrees, and we're left with 3x is equal to 120 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle BDC is 120 degrees. We actually don't need to do another step because we know 3x is equal to 120 degrees. Now let's try solving the problem algebraically. So we have the exact same diagram. We know that angle ADB and angle BDC form a straight line. We identify the relationship between angle ADB and angle BDC. Since they form a straight line, they're supplementary angles with a sum of 180 degrees. The second step is to write and solve an equation to find x. We have 60 plus 3x is equal to 180 degrees. We subtract 60 from each side. That is going to eliminate this. We're going to be left with 3x equals 120 degrees. Now we divide each side by the coefficient 3 to isolate the x. We get 3 over 3, which is 1x, and we get 120 degrees divided by 3, which is 40 degrees. So we know x is equal to 40 degrees. We find the measure of angle BDC. We know it's equal to 3x. We substitute 40 degrees for the x and get 3 times 40 degrees, which is 120 degrees. We check it. We confirm that angle ADB and angle B, D, C are supplementary, we write it out as measure of angle A, D, B plus measure of angle B, D, C. We're asking, is it equal to 180 degrees? So we've got a little question mark over our equal sign. We have 60 degrees plus 120 degrees. Is that equal to 180 degrees? We're asking, so we have a little question again. And since 60 degrees plus 120 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, then it's true. It is equal to 180 degrees. Now take a look at this diagram. We can see there's a little box here, can't we? We know that means 90 degrees. We need to find the measure of angle PSQ. We need to find this angle measure. First thing we do is identify the relationship between angle PSQ and angle QSR. We see the box showing that it's a right angle of 90 degrees, and since they form a right angle, these angles are complementary. So now we're going to write and solve an equation to find the value of x. We have 2x plus 14 plus 38 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. We find the sum of 14 plus 38, that's 52. Now we're going to subtract 52 from each side of the equation to eliminate it. We're left with 2x is equal to 38 degrees. To isolate x, we divide both sides by the coefficient 2. 
by this 2. We get 2 over 2, which is same numerator and denominator. That's a 1. So we have 1x is equal to, and 38 degrees divided by 2 is 19 degrees. We know x is equal to 19 degrees. But that's not the answer to the problem. We know x is 19 degrees. We need 2x plus 14. So now we know that x is equal to 19 degrees. That means the measure of angle PSQ is equal to 2x plus 14. We substitute the 19 degrees for x and follow the order of operations. So we're going to multiply first. We multiply or divide, then add or subtract. We have 2 times 19 degrees, which is 38 degrees. We add the 14, we get 52 degrees. So the measure of angle PSQ is 52 degrees. We can check it. The measure of angle PSQ plus the measure of angle QSR is equal to 90 degrees. We're asking, we're checking. 52 degrees plus 38 degrees, is that equal to 90 degrees? Yes, 52 plus 38 is 90 degrees. It's true. Now, these steps may seem elaborate and a waste of time, but we're using them to show you how to solve problems algebraically, which you're going to be able to use those skills when you get into high school and you get higher into algebra. So right now, you're probably thinking, well, if I know this is 38 degrees and that's 2x plus 14, I can just do 90 minus 38. And it's true. You could do that to find the measure of angle PSQ, but we're trying to show you the steps of solving a problem algebraically. So here's that other way. Since we see the box for the right angle, which is 90 degrees, we can just do 90 degrees minus 38 degrees minus this angle, and that will give us this angle, 52 degrees. So the measure of angle PSQ is equal to 52 degrees. This means that 2x plus 14 is equal to 52 degrees. And we can continue if we need to solve for x. If we don't need to know the angle, if we need to know what x is, we write 2x plus 14 is equal to 52 degrees. We eliminate 14 with subtraction. So since this is a plus 14, we're going to do minus 14 from each side. That eliminates it from the equation. We're left with 2x is equal to 38. We divide both sides by the coefficient 2. We get 1x is equal to 19 degrees. Let's try another one. It's telling us to find the measure of angle KML. So we're looking for this angle measure. We see the 90 degree box, so we know the angles are complementary. That means this angle plus this angle must equal 90 degrees. We know this is 38. We know the measure of JMK and KML should equal 90 degrees. We've got 38 degrees plus 3x minus 5 is equal to 90 degrees. Since this is a positive 38, we're going to subtract 38 from each side to eliminate this from the equation. Now we have 3x minus 5 is equal to 52. 3x minus 5 is equal to 52. Well, then that means this is a 52 degree angle. We really don't need to go any further, but we can continue if we need to solve for x. We have 3x minus 5 is equal to 52. We have a minus 5, so we're going to add 5 to eliminate this minus 5 from the equation. Now we have 3x is equal to 57. We did the 52 degrees plus 5. We divide both sides by the coefficient 3, divided by 3, divided by 3. This gives us same numerator and denominator, so it's 1x is equal to 19 degrees. 57 divided by 3 is equal to 19. We know x is equal to 19 degrees. So keep in mind, when you're doing your tests and you just need to know how many degrees this angle measure is, you can just go to this point, and when it says 3x minus 5 is 52 degrees, you know that's 52 degrees. If it says to solve for x, that's a different story. We have to continue on doing inverse operations to isolate the x. 
We're finished with module 8. We're moving on to module 9 about circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. 9.1a, we're going to be exploring circumference. So just remember, if you just need to find the angle measure, and it says something like 3x minus 5, then you can just solve it in one step. But if you need to solve for x, the value of x, you're going to need to do all the inverse operations and slowly get it down to the value of x. Have a great day, and join me for Module 9. Bye.